What up, YouTube? Here we go again. We got another Wilson Bohannon. Um, this guy was a pain in my butt. I, uh, if it weren't for the internet, I would have probably never figured it out. I got a wire brush here to show you something a little special about this one, which I don't quite understand. Looks like, uh, looks like it's got a brass shackle. You know, it's got all this corrosion on it. But, uh, it's not, it's not steel under there. It's not hardened. It's not rusted. It's, uh, it's just brass. Now look at the keyway on this one. I told you I had a problem with this one. I tried to pick it for days and days. Gave me a freaking migraine, man. Gave me a freaking migraine. But that's because there's a little, simple little trick to this guy. And I'm going to use uh, my favorite wrench here. One of my Harris 5s that I made. It's got the twist. My finger naturally usually goes right to that twist. And it's got a twist here too on the head. It's kind of like a golf club. Like a chipping wedge or whatever. Look at this for a second. It's a counterclockwise rotation for this guy. And uh, the first time I got him, I got him with this guy. And so I'm going to try and do that again. Usually what I like to do is I will try to take a rake. And I will rock. I will rock my locks with a rake. If you can see, I'm just rocking it. Going back and forth and rocking it. Oh, I got a little something there. Now this is supposed to be five standard pins, but it's not as simple as the other Wilson Bohannon. And you, you do have to keep a lot of tension on it. It's still a Wilson Bohannon lock. But for some reason, some of these pins, they're not happy campers. Got that, that one. Yeah. And I think I got overset. So let's reset it. Let's try a different rake. Uh, what do we got here? A worm? Worm. That's a wormer. Oh, yeah. Oh, it likes that. You like that, don't you? So I'm just rocking it. You know, I'm keeping heavy tension on it. Um, yeah, this guy gave me a headache and still, still giving me a headache. I'm going to give this lock to my buddy and have him deal with it. Because I think that at his skill level, it's going to be fun for him. And I'm not going to tell him the secret. <laughs> I'm a butthole. So, trying to make this video for you guys. But Warner Brothers is trying to kill me. I mean, Wilson Bohannon. Oh! Oh! And there we go. With these Wilson Bohannons, you just got to know what you're doing. And, um... I would have never known. I would have never known if it wasn't for Bill. We all know Bill. We're all friends of Bill around here, right? <laughs> uh, Bill told me that sometimes with a Wilson Bohannon, it takes a counterclockwise core rotation. And and when I heard him say that, I was like, "Son of a biscuit, that's what I've been doing wrong." And I gave it five minutes worth of rocking after that, and then open. Um, this one has a particularly long clasp and I wanted to show you guys this. I didn't look in the other one. Let me change my light a little bit here. See if you guys can see. I, um, I like to lube my locks up really good in all our parts, but in this one, I don't know if you guys can see in there, but there's no lip there's no lip on the uh, locking pole there. So uh, depending on tolerances, I think this one may actually be a shimmable lock. So let me lock it back up. Have a little look. It does, it does indeed look like you could get something in there. I bet that you could shim this lock. 
These guys have been making these locks for a long damn time. I think they made a lot of locks for the railroad and things like that. Um, back in a simpler time where you could make a five, five pin lock. Oh, look. Wow. Look, you can see, you can see the, the pins there where they filled. That's pretty damn interesting. Uh, I really like these Wilson Bohannons because they're really heavy and they've got a really, um, dedicated action you know when when something happens on this lock you know it. it 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 opens like an earthquake and uh it's not light you know there's a lot of brass in these things and they're kind of vintage and kind of cool so what i'll do is i'll inscribe my initials on it set it over here in the finish stack and uh thank you guys for watching feel free to come by anytime uh, don't pick a lock that you don't own or don't have the express permission of the owner to pick. Because all it takes is one asshole to call the cops on you. And in my state, once you've picked a lock, they consider it burglary. They catch you with these. They tack on a felony called possession of burglary tools. So, you guys have a good one. Come see me again. Thanks. Bye.